Hey YouTubers, <clears throat> once again, I'm coming to you from a boat. So, there's the official tour. I'm on a pond. Um, let me get settled in here. So I'm up in Cape Cod, a bit of Cape Cod with my family. You ever feel like you just can't get away from people? <laughs> well, that's kind of the way uh, I've been feeling. So I was like, well, they can't come bother me on a boat. <laughs> so, uh, you know how, uh, you know how Jesus, you know, when he was <laughs> trying to get away from the multitudes, he'd either sneak away into a mountain or, you know, uh, off on a boat somewhere. That's kind of how I felt. And you know where, uh, the, the first two apostles that Jesus called were Peter and Andrew. Andrew, <laughs> where'd they find him? Or where did Jesus find him? On a boat. So, uh, just wanted to kind of give you the uh, the rundown on, you know, the, the, the past several videos I've talked about a trial that I've been in. Well, here it is. Finally, an explanation. Uh but let me, uh, I feel like I should open with prayer. So let me do that. Holy Father, I just thank you for uh, for this ministry that you've given me. And I pray that you just use this video to glorify your name. And uh, to uplift somebody, edify somebody. And to draw sinners to repentance. And uh, I bind the strong man of every person watching, Lord, that the, uh, the veil would be lifted. That the uh, gospel would be given you know, an unhindered path to the uh, to the spirit of the person listening. And I ask this for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. So anyway, um, back in April, uh, this back in April is when it all started. I found out that my wife was seeing another person. Uh, now, I don't blame this on my trucking job, you know, but since I got saved, my wife and I had become unequally yoked and began going in separate directions. I wanted to serve the Lord. She wanted to, uh, you know, go shop and serve the world, you know, do things that please the flesh all the time when, you know, I desired to crucify the flesh. So we had different priorities. We started, you know, just growing apart and just not having things in common anymore. You know, I'm, I'm not making this video to slander her in any way. You know, I've, well, let me, let me, let me continue. Anyway, when I found out that she was seeing another person or had seen another person, I immediately began fasting because this was the only reaction that I knew to, you know, really fight this thing, to really, you know, have my prayer become more effective and all these things. So, uh... I knew from the onset that it was going to be a 40-day fast. So I went into a 40-day fast. And uh, through the course of it, it became much clearer to me that I was able to, you know, not only hear from the Lord more clearly, but to also let Him live through me more effectively. Uh, I was doing things that were much more loving. Uh, even though my wife was continuing in the relationship with this other guy, you know, I, uh, I actually, over the course of it, more was revealed to me. I'd pray, you know, I'd pray for the Lord to, you know, expose the things that were in darkness. So, you know, I, I found out she was still texting him, found out she was still seeing him, and it just got deeper and deeper. And I, uh... You know, I, to her face, said, I forgive you, you know, let's work this out. Or, you know, whatever. I really felt like I did everything I could to uh, work on it. Uh, even at one point, you know, I, I was I watched the Fireproof movie, so I was doing things to kind of go out of the way to, to show her not only that I, you know, still wanted to work on the relationship, but that God still loved her. You know, because she she dealt with a lot of, you know, self-condemnation, rejection, all these sorts of things. So, uh, obviously, 
I would like for you to pray for, you know, my now ex-wife, uh, that the Lord would, you know, bring her in and show her the truth. But during the fast, I even did something where, you know, she felt like, you know, God was always mad at her, that she had to be perfect to be saved. And I'm not saying this to glorify myself. I'm saying this to show you that Jesus was living through me and that uh, this is the type of thing that Jesus would do. Uh, so I give him all the credit for even this, this thought, this idea, this action that I did. My wife always felt condemned, always felt rejected. And I said, all right, look, to illustrate to you how Jesus, you know, loves you and, you know, paid for your debt, paid for your sin that you were not able to pay. Um, you know, that, that he went to the cross to, to pay for the debt that you weren't able to pay. You know, I wanted to illustrate that to her with my own life. And she had a nicer vehicle than me. She had a, uh, you know, a Jeep that was newer than mine that, you know, we had several thousand dollars of debt, you know, against. And I said to her, I was like, all right, here's what I'm going to do. This was already, you know, several weeks into the fast, and I already knew that we were going to separate, you know, because she'd already expressed that she had no desire to work on it. She was still work She was still seeing this other guy. And, uh, anyway, what I did was I said, all right, well, look, I'm going to take on all the joint debt that we have. Everything that we owe as a couple, I'm going to take it all upon myself and give you the title to your vehicle free and clear without a single debt against it. So I took on thousands of dollars of debt to illustrate to her that that's what Jesus did for her on the cross. That he took all our debt and gave us, you know, freedom, you know, freedom from that debt. But, you know, of course there's the, you know, you have to give your heart to him. You have to come into a relationship of trusting that he's going to save you. It's not just a belief, but a trust, a, a trust in your heart. You know, Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, you know, that's why I've been uh, going through so much. That's why I lost so much weight, because I went on a 40 day fast to try and save my marriage. And throughout it, I said that uh, Romans 8:28. Everything works together for the good of, for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. So, this situation, as rotten as it may look, was for my good and for my benefit. Well, not not just for my benefit, but so that the Lord could use me more effectively in ministry. So, since completing the fast, if you go into the Gospels and you look at when Jesus started His fast, it said that the you know, he was filled with the Spirit, and the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. But when you find that he, you know, beat the temptations of, of the enemy, of Satan, then when he came out, he was in the power of the Spirit. So I also took that on as something that I wanted to do my fast for, where I wasn't just going to be filled with the Spirit, but I had, you know, would be given more power. And a friend of mine who has the gift of prophecy gave me a word from the Lord, and it said uh, something along the lines of, you know, you're like Jonah right now, you're in a period of darkness, but you're going to come out, and, you know, there's going to be a new light. There's going to be, uh, you're going to come out to a day of healing, justification, deliverance, um, knowledge, and a great revealing. You know, that's just kind of the rough summary of that word. And every word of it came to pass. You know, the justification, I'm justified walking away from my marriage because I did everything to fix it and my wife would not repent of this relationship. So, you know, according to the Bible, uh, I was free to walk away. You know, for the course of this, I had all kinds of people praying for me. Uh, I was, you know, praying for myself, doing everything that I knew how to do. So I was justified walking away from the marriage. Uh, the healing and the deliverance and the knowledge are actually those ministries and those gifts 
Uh, I've received more words of knowledge since this fast, and I want more. Um, I have uh, prayed deliverance for several people and seen results. I've prayed healing for several people and seen results. So I believe I've been given a greater authority in these ministries, and I just want to continue those things. I, I just ask that you pray for the Lord to use me more effectively in those ministries. Uh, you know, more boldness and more faith and all these things. So there's certainly a great outcome of this. And, uh, you know, I'll even tell you that the Lord has already put somebody in my life that wants to serve the Lord with me. Um, it, it's too much to explain, but I, I'll just leave it at that. You know, I, I don't feel led to say any more than that, but the Lord has put somebody in my life that wants to serve alongside me. And, uh, you know, we can be, uh, I don't know, she's just as weird as I am and wants to serve the Lord just as much as I do. So maybe as that develops, I'll, uh, I'll give updates, but at the time I don't feel led to do so. But just know that despite my recent divorce, I'm happy. I've got joy. When, when I should have been depressed and beat up and, you know, feeling like a rejected piece of crap, the Lord gave me joy instead, joy and hope. So <clears throat> that's all I really wanted to share with you right now. And then, uh, you know, with that out of the way, I think I can go on to making videos now that uh, there's some closure in that department. It's really hard for me to want to, you know, do a prophecy video when I've got this, you know, this big part of my life that's been weighing on me for the past four months. So just know that the Lord is, uh, you know, working things out. He's still supernaturally protecting my life. Um, I, had a, I had a really long day at work one night. And, uh, you know, the hand of God's just been on me, protecting me. Uh, and He just, he, he protected me, uh, you know, when I was at work. My, uh, I actually nodded off at work and, you know, drove full speed into the median. Uh, so anybody that's praying for my protection, it's working because I drove an 18 wheeler full speed into a, you know, a median that was kind of like, you know, had a bit of a valley in it, but you know, there's so many things I could have hit, you know, a sewer or, a, or whatever in there, but the Lord totally protected me through it. And, uh, I got out, there was not a scratch on the truck, not a single pop tire. My boss never said anything about it. You know, no dents, no nothing. Even got to the place and delivered the load that I had. And they didn't even complain. You know, the, the pallets weren't all thrown over and everything. But, you know, this could have been a thing where Satan was trying to take me out. You know, this truck totally could have jackknifed on me, could have, could have gone into oncoming traffic, whatever. And would have been a fire charger checking out. So... Lord is doing wonderful things, and I just give Him the glory and the honor and the credit for everything that's happened in my life for the past, you know, not just four months, but everything in my life. You know, the Bible says that all good things come from God, and uh, I give Him thanks for all of it. You know, not just these past four months, but all of it. So, with that said, I feel like I can, you know, move on with you know, my YouTube ministry with other things, but it, it's been nearly impossible for me to deal with anything, you know, Syria and uh, just all the prophetic things going on in the world. It's been going at breakneck speed, but I haven't been able to address it because I've had this, you know, serious life issue at the forefront. So I want to thank all of you for your prayers. And I just want to tell you that uh, the Lord is good, even in the lowest valleys, uh, you know, he's there, he doesn't leave you, but you really need to press into him and lean on him instead of trying to make your own way. So, can you see all these lily pads? So it's nice to be able to get away from everybody and just kind of make a video for once.
Uh, with that said, I think I'll close this one out and uh, just tell you that Jesus is alive and well and that uh, He died for sinners like you and me. And without trusting in His sacrifice and turning from our you know, wicked ways the best that we can, you know, actually repenting, changing your mind about following a life of sin, about pursuing a life of sin, you know, instead pursue Jesus, pursue a relationship with Him, pursue His ways, His Word, and uh, just have, you know, saving faith. I guess that's all i got right now, so uh, hopefully I can upload soon and move on with this ministry. So keep me in your prayers. I thank you for, you know, doing that in the past. And I'll see you later.